So where did this astronaut go? We get, we're bringing him back. My name is Patrick Shearn. I'm the creative director of Poetic Kinetics. It's a fabrication studio. We're here in Los Angeles. You have the story of the astronaut, but you also have like, how do we interact with what's going on in the visor and what happens to an astronaut suit if you drop it through reentry in a black hole. And we're having a lot of fun sort of figuring out what does it look like? How can we make this something really interesting and engaging and unique? This is the, the shell of the helmet. The visor will come right here, the plastic visor. And then the push plate of the forklift comes in and mounts to all of this. And that's sort of what carries the, the head around. Working with Patrick is pretty exciting. He's got endless energy and a lot of ideas. His method is really collaborative. He really likes those around him and the team members to join in on ideas. So we've decided that this guy has gone on this journey and gone through this re-entry process. So he's scarred and he's got, you know, stuff sticking to the bottom of his shoe that, you know, we're gonna change up every day. This right here is a bicep. This right here, this hinge, is, is gonna be like the elbow. So it flexes there. This rack of actuators, each one of those drives a finger. This is like one section of the chest that's like about this big. The fabric is gonna be distressed and changed. The, there's gonna be scratches and scars. We're playing around with scale of, of sewing. We'll have threads that are that kind of size. All of the sort of natural detail has to be figured out in advance. Two seams come together and you're not aware that it's a, a valley or a, or a peak. You know, in the original astronaut, we, we had this opportunity where people could stick their, their face into a box and look around as if they were in an astronaut helmet. We are working with some custom filters that track onto the face so we can alter the people's faces and continue to tell the story of where did he go, what's going, you know, what's happening. You know, like in, at Coachella, you see something from a distance initially. You come onto the field and there's something way over there. And as you approach it, I want the language of the piece to always be evolving. When you look at the finished product, it's something beyond imagination. It's magical, it's art, it's powerful. You know, you have this like layers of dependencies and everything's gotta to come together at the moment you ignite the thing and it takes a village. In the original astronaut, we just lucked out in sending it to the to the Science Museum of Minnesota. It's like the perfect building, the perfect fit. It just barely got in. We went up and measured doors and made sure that we could get all the parts into this museum. And there's really a beautiful museum. It's a point of pride to have created stuff that is so iconic and symbolic to them. It's come back and uh, it's got a good story to tell.